All right, so in this video, I'm letting everybody know that the book is out. The book I've been working on, you can see it here behind me, nice and big. It's called Understanding Base 12 Math, How to Draw the Perfect Circle Using Dozenal Geometry. So this is for all my subscribers and anybody else that's watching this video that uh, you can go out and buy this book. So I'm assuming that you're interested in Base 12, and this is the book that's going to help you immerse yourself or at least introduce yourself to base 12 mathematics and specifically base 12 geometry. So it's called understanding base 12 math because once you've read this book, you're going to understand a few things about base 12 math better. First of all, you're going to understand that there is a difference, a significant difference between base 10 and base 12. And I'm going to explain that to you. It has to do with the size of the decimal places. Usually when we think about base 12, we think about counting in groups of 12. But the real difference lies in the dividing of the 1 into twelfths instead of tenths. That's where there's a significant difference in the size of the decimal places. And that has repercussions or implications that we're not really aware of or no one's really thought it through. So we're doing geometry on the base 12 Cartesian plane. It looks different than base 10. It's a denser grid. And there's a geometric pattern on there that enables us to divide the circle into 360 degrees that we can't do that, we can't do in base 10. So that's something that is very easily to provable. I can show you how to do it. Can't do it in base 10. It's accessible in base 12. So the majority of this book or the vast you know, amount of energy in this book is, is focused on explaining how to draw this diagram. I introduce you to the geometry behind it. I show you the logic of how to do this diagram. And then that opens up a whole bunch of new possibilities in math that are currently unavailable to anybody who's simply focused in base 10, which is basically everybody. So you're getting information in this book about base 12 that isn't accessible anywhere else in the world right now. If you want to if you think about it, nobody knows about base 12. It's an assumption that it doesn't really make any difference. And so no one's explored this avenue of mathematics. I spent the last seven years, seven and a half now, uh, you know, looking deeply into base 12 on the base 12 Cartesian plane, this geometry works and it just takes a little bit of time and study to get familiar with it. So the book's available. You can go to Amazon, find it there, purchase it for yourself. I've also created a, a website now called dozenalmath.com. You can go there just starting out and looking to create a community of people who are interested First of all, in becoming familiar with this math and this geometry, and then basically spreading the word. The reason that you're getting this information from a YouTube channel as opposed to the, you know, sort of top-down, uh, big announcement is made from the math community, some kind of journal, is because I'm not a mainstream mathematician. I don't have a PhD in math. That environment or that uh, group or society or that area is is it's really difficult to break into when the first thing that you're saying is, hey, you know, base 12 is better, base 10 is flawed, there's something about pi that we're not really sure about, irrational numbers. When you come in questioning things, people are, um, what I'm finding is people aren't returning my emails or my phone calls. They're a little bit hesitant to really engage with what I'm talking about. So I'm, I wrote the book to make it very clear, make it easily accessible, and you can study it. So that's the intention behind writing the book is that you can look at it and get used to the idea of doing math in base 12 because that's the real challenge is that you have to engage with base 12 mathematics and it looks a little bit different. So I, I ease you into the world of base 12 in this book. It's a good introductory book and I use the phrase worthy of more explore, exploration a lot in the book because I'm just opening the door and kind of showing you the different areas that could use more exploration because there's a lot, once you get going, there's a lot of avenues to explore and to go deeper. But it's a great introduction and because we're talking about the circle and dividing it into 360 degrees, you can keep going and divide that circle more and more and you realize that that diagram is created by literally dividing the diameter of the circle into its circumference. And we know that's the formula for pi. So there's a base 12 version of pi that has some different characteristics than base 10. And some new ways of looking at pi, or the new way, the better way, the base 12 version of pi, I think is the right version and it has some different characteristics from base 10. So the implications are quite huge actually 
for adopting base 12 math, but we need to get the word out. So again, it's available. Go to Amazon, you can check out the book, and uh, I'm looking forward to having conversations about with what's in this book with people who've read the book, start a dialogue, and yeah, get the word out to the mainstream math community. All right, thanks for watching.